Hi, it's Rob Grimes with Food Tech TV, and I'm here with Jeremy Luby and John Washam with Talk to the Manager. They're offering a text-based system that allows a person to give feedback instantly and anonymously uh, to a restaurant. Um, do you guys want to talk about what got you into that business, how you got started in it? Yeah, I'll let John take that because John sure. actually created this from the, from the get-go. Sure. So I think everybody's had a bad experience at a restaurant or hotel. Um, and those some kinds, sometimes can end up in you know, bad ways with a negative review online or something like that. What I wanted to do was be able to address issues that I have at a restaurant or a hotel and be able to get that message to the manager, even though I may not ask them to come to my table or uh, you know, talk to a server about the problem. But still get it addressed and still let them know how I feel without going public with it. Okay, so, and, then, and then they're able to respond to that. Correct. Pretty much in real time? Yes, absolutely in real time. Just as fast as sending a text message between two friends. Okay. And your ex how many restaurants have you installed this in? Uh, we're approaching about 300 right now. About 300 restaurants. Uh, independents, uh, chains? For the most part, they're independent. We do have some smaller chains using us, uh, anything ranging from about 10 to 40 locations. Are, are you finding that the reason why it's independence is maybe they have a closer relationship with their customers or something, or they want to? I mean, is there some reason why? Uh, to be honest, I think one of the biggest reasons has to do with we're a two-man team that's selling this thing. So getting a chance to talk to chains is something that we're still, uh, still out striving to do. Okay, so a person is able to text a mess, any kind of message, I guess, to, to the restaurant. They could do it while they're sitting there or afterwards. But the end result or what the restaurant wants to accomplish is to avoid having somebody text or tweet to the whole rest of the world without giving them a chance to respond? That's exactly what we, uh, that's, that's the exact goal. And what we've noticed with our service, we perform a sentiment analysis on all of the texts that come through. 75% are actually positive. And because we're trying to keep negative feedback offline, we've actually built a feature uh, that allows the restaurant to use these anonymous customer testimonials and send the positive ones to their Facebook and their Twitter. Okay, so let me ask you this. So how would you track whether a person who has actually used this system has then still gone ahead and posted negative feedback, even if the restaurant gave them a positive response? How, how would you track that? Uh, at this point, that's not something we can track because what we are capable of tracking has to do with their phone number, not with their online persona. It'd be an interesting thing to try to prove the case that this is a deterrent, yes. or a, a deterrent's probably not the right word, but a, but a way of positively impacting the feedback to be able to track yes. then what kind of negative. Now, maybe you could do it based on the timing because a complaint would be a complaint, it'd be the same complaint right. within a certain period of time, like a 24 hour period at that particular unit, then I guess there'd be a correlation between the two. Right, so for the last year, we've actually been tracking uh, the restaurant reviews um, from when they started with us to how they're improving over time. And we've seen about a 25% increase in reviews during that amount of time. So at this point in time, we can't directly attribute that to coming from our service, but considering almost all of our restaurants have been on the upslide, um, we think that it's going pretty well. Okay. Now, a lot of restaurants, especially the chain restaurants, are going to want to be able to tie to what a person actually had. Uh, they're going to want to tie to the check. Now, they use systems today, but they don't get that data right away. They get it 24 hours or they give them a week to respond. Um, you know, what are your thoughts on being able to tie to the actual transaction? Sure, absolutely. So a lot of those companies uh, are offering a reward for you to go and do this. It's something they tell you before you go to a survey or an online website. We could do the same thing with our, uh, with our signage perhaps in the future where you could offer some type of reward. And the way that this would work is when a, a customer sends their first text message, they get an auto response from the business. It's customizable by each business. So in that response, they could offer a unique code that the person could then tie to their receipt as they're paying and leaving at the end of the time which would actually give you much more real time and not having to wait till the next day. We well, also have customers who put the, their phone number at the end of the receipt, so they can correlate the ticket number with that to say, you know, hey, text us your comments and tell us your, uh, your ticket number, and then they can offer them something after the fact. Yeah, I would guess, though, that if, if a person were given an instant code they could use when they checked out, well, on one hand, uh, it would tie to the check, on the other hand, it would make the person not so anonymous as they're leaving, because you'd be able to identify who they were, because they got a discount based on a certain type of code. Yeah, no, that's absolutely true, but luckily at that point you're leaving and hopefully you're much more comfortable putting that thing down and heading out the door. Well, hopefully you're coming back. Exactly. You know, obviously a strategy a lot of restaurants use is that they would give somebody something to come back for it's a future trip. Yeah, yeah right. absolutely.
But you could do that through the autoresponse. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, no problem. Okay. And is it just restaurants now? Have you done any hotels? Are you doing any other to retail or anything like that? Yeah, absolutely. So aside from the, the several hundred restaurants that are using us right now, we have banks, casinos, property management, um, hotels. We're kind of span the board, dry cleaners. Just about anybody who has a face-to-face -face interaction with their customer needs customer feedback. Doctors, dentists, we have, we have customers ranging all over the board. Okay, so obviously texting is a way of right now, what's the future, where do you think, I mean the same backbone, same technology, what do you think they're gonna be doing in the future? I think definitely apps are the future and obviously apps are trending right now and, and people are creating apps like crazy. But text messaging just turned 20 years old this year. Um, it's such a commonly used medium that we decided to start with something much simpler. Every phone out there can use that. Um, but as smartphones, they've just passed 50% uh, of consumers in the US now have smartphones. As that number gets larger and larger, I definitely see this forming into an app. Is this your uh, first time at the NRA show? This is our first time here. Okay, so you guys had a chance to walk around? Uh, uh, slightly, yes. Okay, so you're, you're standing in the middle of the tech pavilion. Yes. So, just out of curiosity, has anything caught your eye you thought was really cool that you never heard about before? Besides your own technology? <laughs> there's so many. There's one over here that lets you, you know, that helps you make an app for your restaurant. We've got guys over here that are kind of an all-in-one marketing solution. Uh, so many different things. We, I've mostly been scoping out all the different food offerings and getting samples. I haven't ha had a chance to check out too many of our neighbors, but we, we've well, got So what's, what's the number one food that you found here that you thought was the most interesting thing? The uh, the Bang caffeinated ice cream. It's great stuff. Also really liked the uh, the motorcycle that was a shrimp. <laughs> half, half hog, half shrimp. I think that was at the Mazetta booth. <laughs> All right, I'll have to go check that one out, guys. Thanks a lot. Hey, thank Thanks you lot. very much.